In this lesson, we are going to export our 3D photo out for 3D printing. So make sure that you have your decimate modifier turned on. I may crank it up to like maybe like 0.5, you know, somewhere like 0 0.3, 0 0.5 should be good. Uh, that will just lower the file size and just make it a little easier on the slicer. So what we want to do now is just make sure you have your object or your photo selected. Go to the 3D printing toolbox tab and under the export, we're going to tell Blender where we want to send it. So just click on this little folder. And I'm gonna make a new folder called STLs like that. And just double click that. And we're just telling Blender we want the file to land here. So we'll just accept that. Make sure your format is STL and then hit export. And notice we get the little blue confirmation down at the bottom. Now let's open this up in our slicer of choice. So here is our file. I'm just gonna double click and I'm using Simplify 3D. And there's our cheese wedge from the previous project. So I'll just delete that. And hey, hey, so far it looks pretty good, but uh, let's go ahead and do a test slice. Um, and for 3D printing uh, photos, you want to crank the infill all the way up to 100 to get the desired uh, result or the look. So make sure you have the infill percentage set all the way up to 100. We want this to be solid 3D printed. And then for the layer, you can do 0.2 again. And for the shells, 0.2 is fine as well. And we shouldn't need any rafts or support, but you can use a raft uh, if you would like. So let's go ahead and slice it. So go ahead and hit prepare for print. All right, that's looking pretty cool. So what I like to do always is just scrub through this, make sure everything's looking fine and dandy. So we'll just scrub through, and I really wanna check the base, like where the uh, photo and the base meet. So we've got a nice solid base, 100% infill, and then right here is where I really wanna check. You wanna make sure that these are all connected like it's one mesh and it does look like that. So it looks like it's gonna be, you know, kind of welded together. And there we go. So notice the infill is super thick. It's just gonna be a solid piece of plastic and that is exactly what you want. So let's go ahead and scrub. That looks great. And the back looks flat and that's it. So we've done it. Good job if you got this far. Let me know in the discussions in the top right if you have any questions thoughts, concerns, ideas, uh, you know, you can really get creative with this. And like I said, these are great gifts or just stuff to put on your desk or at work and people love them. So let's go ahead and export the G code. So you can do, you know, if you have a printer hooked up USB, you could click the, your, you know, send it through via USB. I'm just going to export the G code. So what I like to do is create a new folder called G code and put the G code in that folder. So we'll just call this Amber 3D photo and save. All right, now let's go ahead and print that thing.